Tomorrow is a first alert weather day because things could get a little messy. Ray's got what you need to know for the morning now. Ray. Yeah, it's this stuff right here, Ken, that continues to lift in from the south. It's already uh, starting to line up, at least on the radar, along the southern border of Pennsylvania, but it might take a little longer before that rain actually makes its way to the ground. And because we have this coming in, it's going to interact with colder temperatures and bring some areas of snow, a very wet and cold morning commute, and even some areas of sleet, which is the ice pellets. We have activated the uh, Gulf Tower. You see that flashing in red, so it is a first alert weather day for tomorrow. Rain, snow, sleet, which is the ice pellets, are expected, and this is going to be happening during the morning commute. While it's not going to be a widespread issue, icy conditions can't be ruled out, especially up into the ridges and especially as you get to the north and off to the west of Pittsburgh, where we see the best shots for snow and mixing. And then we have another system coming in for the weekend that looks to bring us some accumulating snow. Let's go first things first, and that is tonight into tomorrow. This is a view of 4 a.m. On Futurecast, you can see how this snow is lifting from the south. There's still some of this rain trying to hang on from Pittsburgh and uh and point southward from there. Now, Pittsburgh, you can see, gets these little pushes of the mix moving in, but uh, I think the, the primary precipitation is going to be rain with some snow mix in there and maybe some occasional uh, pellets, uh, ice pellets, which is the sleet. Snow showers Washington up to the north, and this is going to continue to be the case right into lunchtime, but a uh, little bubble of warm air might try to protect Pittsburgh, but you can see some pretty widespread snow around the area at this point. This clears out rather quickly in the afternoon, and then we quiet things down, and that is until the next system comes in, and this is coming into play on Saturday, and there's a pretty good possibility that we're looking at some accumulations on Saturday. This is important because that is the St. Patrick's Parade on Saturday and Pittsburgh's big celebration of St. Patrick's Day. And you can see it does come with snow showers. This is a 5 a.m. snapshot, so the rain is already shifted out of Pittsburgh, and we're transitioning to snow, and the darker blues would indicate some steadier, if not heavier, snow in our area, and this is through the morning. So this is while the parade's happening, that continues, and then it lightens up in the evening. So Saturday could be an interesting day. There's still several things up in the air uh, that we have yet to determine because we're still watching the trends with this one, but we could be looking at some accumulations, but it's not looking like anything like 1993. So I'll just tell you that right now, but uh, certainly something that you'll want to be aware of and paying attention to in the next few days, especially if your plans for this weekend bring you to town. 30 degrees for tonight, though. This is where we get the rain. It's going to eventually transition to that mix and uh, potentially some sleet, which is the ice pellets. Now, after that early mixture, we're going to end this in the afternoon, and winds will stay out of the west of 5 to 10, so not too windy, but uh, we do finally get the little bump in those temperatures later in the day. So the early part of the day, um, especially the morning hours and early afternoon, is where it's going to be the nastiest. Thursday and Friday, we get a little break and a little warm-up, but those temperatures come crashing right back down on Saturday, leaving us cold for the weekend, and with that, the, the snow on Saturday and a little warm-up for early next week.